Hey everybody, welcome to Rectum. My name is Sean. If you're new here, I review things, current events, things that I buy, what I think you might like to hear about. And people who tune in are usually subscribing because they like to hear stuff. So before I start, let me remind you, go ahead and click subscribe and click the little bell. They're down here somewhere. And if you click the bell, you'll get a notification whenever I publish or I produce a new video, upload a new video, and um, you'll be the first to know, along with everybody else that has clicked the bell, so not the first, uh, the first in the group. Um, so I want to talk to you, I'm going to revisit my review on Joma Shop and um, my experience with them, my most recent experience with them. So it was kind of curious, when I did my first review on Joma Shop, I got... Um, I got some negative comments, not on my review, but of Joma Shop and how people uh, were dealt with and their experience with them. And I said, well, my, I've only been positive the three times I've dealt with them. But I'm getting a lot of people saying uh, they're, they're getting watches that have been, uh, the clasp is open, the crown has been pulled out, they're just kind of banging around free in the box. Um, they shipped something back because it wasn't working properly and they destroyed it. Joma, Joma Shop allegedly destroyed it because uh, they didn't want to pay, uh, they didn't want to reimburse the person for their, their loss. So I've had a recent dealing with them that wasn't very favorable and I want to I wanna share that with you and say, you know, Joma Shop might be, um, a website you may want to avoid. Now let's start with a brief background on what Joma Shop is and what it does. It's a part of the gray market. This is, they deal in luxury goods. It's not a luxury. They sell some Invictas and Deep Blue watches and uh, Seikos that you can buy for a hundred bucks. You can buy them on Joma Shop for cheaper. Um, just throwing numbers out there. I don't have the exact watches. I'm not looking at the website to tell you what the exact watches are. So, uh, it's the gray market. Now let's say I am Rectum, not Rectum YouTube channel, but Rectum Jewelers. And I sell Rolexes. I am an AD, an authorized dealer of Rolexes. If I look down, it's because over here I have my phone, which is my monitor for my camera. Pretty cool. Um, I'm just looking at my time and stuff. So. I am Rectum Jewelers. I am an authorized dealer for Rolexes. I have to sell 10 Rolexes per month to maintain my authorized dealership. Uh, I sold eight last month. Ah! Now I have to figure out how to sell two more, otherwise Rolex could yank my dealership and I'm no longer a Rolex dealer. I can't have the signs. I uh, the, the warranties are no good if I'm not a dealer, but I'm still selling them. Um, <clears throat> Rolex doesn't send the police over and say you gotta stop selling watches. They just don't authorize you to sell them. Um, so uh, warranties are void. Those are not valid. Uh, if you buy it from someone who's not an authorized dealer, you don't have a warranty. This is an email. We're gonna get to this in just a moment. So what happens is, Companies like Joma Shop, I think Overstock is another one, they swoop in, they buy up two watches uh, at a discount, and now I have sold my 10 watches. Woo! I'll cheer. So I get to keep my authorized dealership. Um, Joma Shop bought the watches at, let's say, we're going to say I have a $10,000 Rolex, they buy it at $5,000. They buy it. 50% off. So now they sell it for $7,000. So they get to make $2,000 and the end purchaser saves $3,000. They don't get the warranty, which doesn't really matter. Some of these warranties are to defects on workmanship and they last for a couple of years. And you're talking about a Rolex. The odds are you're not going to get a manufacturer's defect in your Rolex or your Oris or your Tissot or any number of these other watches. So <clears throat> that's how the gray market works and that's who Joma Shop is. Now I have purchased 
So watches from Joma Shop, I purchased a Tissot. Like the watch, actually sold it for more than what I bought, bought it for. People liked it, and I got a great review on eBay. The purchaser loved it and complimented me. I bought a Ball Engineer Hydrocarbon from Joma Shop. Great watch, wore it for a few months, posted it on eBay. Sold it actually for more than what I paid for it. <clears throat> the person that bought it loved it. Uh, great review. Um, uh, and I bought a Swiss military watch. And this is kind of a, a no name brand. It was pretty cheap. I just wanted a Swiss watch. I just got rid of two Swiss watches, but I wanted a Swiss watch. And I always love having one on hand. And it, it turns out it's a fantastic watch. I got it at Joma Shop. Um, it's an unheard of brand. You really can't find them anywhere else. Uh, pretty decent deal, pretty decent watch. Liked it. Um, then I bought an Oris. I bought a green Oris. Uh, it is the Oris Aquas. Little date at 6 o'clock, 300 meters, I believe. Uh, water resistance. Pretty excited I'm going to get this watch. And what happened was, I wanted one luxury watch that I was going to actually keep. I wasn't flipping it. I wasn't going to put it on eBay. I wasn't going to wear it for a little while. My friend has one. I know the watch. I know I like the watch. So I bought it. I told my wife she was going to Phoenix. We live in Tucson. She was heading off to Phoenix. I said, all right, you, that's cool. You can go buy a new car if you want to. She was visiting her sister. And <clears throat> I said, you buy a new car, I'm buying a cool watch. And sure enough, she came home in a new car. And she needed a new car, by the way. And uh, I said, all right, I'm, I'm going to order the new watch. So I went to Joma Shop, I found my watch, and I clicked order. Now, it said, now, okay, so let's backtrack a little bit. I finance, I use a firm to finance the watches. I have the credit, and I have the money, but I like to always keep some kind of a credit history always rolling. And a firm's a great way. And... Uh, what they do is they tell you you're gonna pay this much a month and By the end of your loan you will have paid let's say on this $1,475 watch you will have paid 230 bucks interest now if I pay off early the next week if I pay it off There's no penalty. I pay no interest. I pay the 1475 boom closed and I discovered a firm when I bought a mattress from Brooklyn Bedding and they worked great. It was like 900 bucks for the mattress. Bought the mattress, it came in, like the mattress, paid off the loan, done. Paid like the 800, whatever I just said. Paid it off. So, Joma Shop, my watch. They have, it says, ships in two to three weeks. On the bottom, fine. I ordered it July 4th, 2019. Ships in two to three weeks, you do the math. I should have it pretty fast. Today is September 3rd, 2019. I still don't have it. It still has not shipped. So I contact Joma Shop and I tell them, you know what, this is ridiculous. This is the second time I've contacted. Actually, the third time I talked to them on the phone. This is too long. It's way too long. It ships in two to three weeks. You expect ships in two to three weeks, not back ordered ships whenever we get it. Write that down. Ships whenever we get it. After I chew them out. I didn't really chew them out, but I, I, I talked to the group. I chatted with uh, Emily. It changed to ships in three to five weeks. You're still beyond three to five weeks. So, Joma Shop has had almost two months to deliver my order. We're having this conversation August 28th, 2019. Remember, July 4th is when I ordered the watch. It's a holiday, I understand. July 5th was not a holiday. They had time to get this going. So, <clears throat> Emily said, you ordered a watch that was not in stock, sir. How, Emily? How, Joma Shop? How, viewers of Rectum, do I know it's not in stock? Any time frame is just an estimate until the item arrives here. Joma Shop, this is Emily. Um, how do I know that? Again, how do I know it's just an estimate? Nowhere did it say it's just an estimate. It ships in two to three weeks to what it says right on the bottom so three weeks it should ship and i chose four days so it should have been here three weeks four days <clears throat> it is not a guarantee okay and i told her on your website it says ships in two to three weeks yes it is an estimate no it ships in two to three weeks doesn't say estimate be clear um so go ahead and cancel your order 
You shall ship my order. I tell her, ship my order. I've ordered this. You've had weeks. Uh, I'm just going to go over. I'm just going to read it a little bit here. And I, if I want something sooner, I can order a different watch. I said, sure, I'll order a different watch. Um, but I want a discount. I've been very, very patient and pretty kind, and I did a video talking about German Shop and how I like them. You gotta treat customers better than this. So the estimates can be off. She tells me that the estimates can be off. And I asked her, just change it to May ship in two to three weeks. May ship. Um, her estimates can be off. Why am I the bad guy, Sean, at Rectum, the bad guy? Because I expect something that ships in two to three weeks to be here in two to three weeks. For it's for in other words, if you are waiting for the cable guy and it tells you, they tell you, here, here's your window. From noon to four, the cable guy will be there. At five, you're starting to wonder why isn't the cable guy been here yet? At six, wait a minute. They told me noon to four. At seven, you're getting pretty I gotta call the company. Now it's starting to get dark. They can't work outside. Unless they got floodlights with them. Are they showing up? Same here. And I just said it doesn't say estimate. And I did this in all caps. She told me get, talking in all caps will give me high blood pressure. What? Uh, all right, that's fine. I get high blood pressure because I wrote in all caps. I, I got high blood pressure because I don't know if you're understanding that Ships in two to three weeks means ships in two to three weeks. It doesn't say it's an estimate. It doesn't mean it's an estimate. Oh, maybe they'll ship in two to three weeks. Ships in two to three weeks. You go tell your boss, I may show up at nine. I may show up at 10. I'm giving, giving an estimate. Your boss may say, your contract says, show up at nine. You want to go? All right. <clears throat> I tell them, listen, I'm just going to tell the customers. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, a new YouTube video. I, I, I gotta delete the one that's that's positive because I gotta tell people Joma Shop's liable to do whatever, and they do whatever right here. Uh, they're gonna apply the fifty fifty dollar coupon that I already used. Wow, you're so generous. And they're gonna give me the next day air. I already had the next day air, Emily. This tells me I'm angry. I'm not angry. I'm kind of concerned. I'm wondering why you don't send me what you're sending me. And I tell them what I want is, I'll, tell, I'll, I'll take this black one. It's the same watch in black. Uh, whatever. Who doesn't have a black watch? Uh, just so they ship it at 1200 bucks. Next day air. Well, we're not going to do that. Okay, then I want my green one. Next day air, right now that I already ordered. Well, we're not going to do that either. So these are, these are op options I'm, I'm giving them. Um, <clears throat> Still not here. So, should I cancel the order? Submit a request to my supervisor. Was told no. Uh, they don't make the rules. They can't. She, she can go to purchasing and say, "Hey, I want to give them a lower price." And she tells me, <clears throat> "Here's a couple of things that really set me off." All right. And these are a couple of things. Uh, here's a couple of things that you should be aware of before you before you go to Joma Shop and do your ordering. I'm going to wrap this up. One of the things that she sells me was just a small company. Joma Shop's a big company. And I think they're out of Brooklyn. I know the area. I'm just not sure. It's an expensive place to do business. New York's an expensive place to do business. And New York City is a really expensive place to do business. And um, they're, in a, they're in an expensive place. Um, just a small mom and pop shop, and they have no control. They really can't tell you that it's 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 going to be more than two to three weeks, or it's on back order. They can't they can't say this, but you know the small mom and pop shop, they deal in Patek Philippe's at the three hundred and fifty thousand dollar price range. These are watches that if you're like a Timex wearer, you probably don't know exist. They're, these are the most expensive of the watches. But here's something that if they don't have it in stock, notify me when it's in stock. They give you that option, and I signed up for it. I signed up for this notification when this Patek Philippe is in stock. And since it wasn't in stock, just like the Oris wasn't in stock, the Patek Philippe wasn't in stock. But the Patek Philippe came with the option, notify me when it is in stock. The Oris did not come up with that option. Joma Shop can provide that option. So, 
No, guys, listen, I'm not mad. I'm just, it's just frustrating. And I'm not talking to Joe Michelle, I'm talking to my, my viewers. I'm not mad, it's just kind of very frustrating that, you know, they can do this. They can tell you it's not in stock. They can tell you to notify me when it is in stock. But they didn't on this watch. And then they gave me a really, really hard time about it. So, to, to wrap it up, I'm going to say, if you want a gray market watch, go elsewhere. Joma Shop's not the place to go. Don't buy from them. They do clothing, apparel, purses, eyewear. Um, I don't think this hat would come from Joma Shop. Um, but they do, you know, lots and lots of stuff. I'm just going to tell you, ditch them. Don't bother. This is, this is a problem. This is five pages of transcripts right here of why hasn't my stuff come in yet. And it's still not here. But, you know, this was um, an August 28th conversation. We're now, we're still September 3rd, and it's still not here. And they still haven't canceled my order. So that money, uh, a firm will give you so much of a, a, a credit, that money is still tied up. So here I am. And here's where you could be. So I'm, this is a warning. Don't bother with them. Just move on, and at the $1,400 range for the $2,100 watch, if you go to an authorized dealer, oftentimes you can get uh, big discounts. So, Joma Shop, they're out. Avoid them. Don't bother with them. If you have complaints about them, put them below. Tell everybody, Joma Shop. No ma shop. Have a good day. This is Rectum. Click subscribe. Click the bell icon. Give a thumbs up. Give two thumbs up. But you can't, so just give one. One thumb, thumbs up. Bye-bye.